Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 119, verse 173, let thine hand help me, for I have chosen thy precepts. In other words, I have chosen to do the correct thing, God. Now please help me to follow through with it. And part of the way that God helps us to be holy is through our prayers, which is what the writer is doing right here. Prayer is a mystery. I don't know how it works. I don't know the details, but I do know that it works. Anything that Jesus does, I want to do. And he spent a lot of time in prayer. Someone says, well, I like to pray. And I like to pray more, but I run out of things to say after 30 seconds. Well, here's a suggestion. Read the Psalms, especially Psalm 119, which is a prayer. Read it back to God and offer it to him as a prayer. That's a great way to pray. It's a great way to prime the pump, too, and get you to think of other things to pray for. But it's a great way to pray. Pray with an open Bible because you are listening to God when you read the word and then you're talking back to God. Actually, you're blasting away with both barrels. Listening to God, talking to God, and sin is going to go down if you do that. 174, I have longed for thy salvation, O Lord, and thy law is my delight. If you long for salvation then make sure that God's law is your delight. You can't save yourself from hell by keeping God's law, but you'll stay close to God, so you'll be less likely to backslide, and that will keep you out of hell. No one goes to hell unless they willfully turn their back on Christ, and staying close to him will keep that from happening. 175, let my soul live, and it shall praise thee. And let thine ordinances help me. An ungodly person wants to keep living so he can keep sinning. A godly person wants to keep living so they can keep praising God and serving God here on earth while while they have an opportunity to do it. Because, you know, we all have one life. One life, one chance. One short segment of time out of all eternity to serve God and help spread the message of Jesus. And I don't know about you, but I want to stretch it out for as long as I can and make the most of it. 176. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek thy servant, for I do not forget thy commandments. He loved God. He loved the word of God. He loved obedience. And yet he knows that because of his sin nature, he still wanders from God. He knows it. He doesn't like it. And so he asks God to keep an eye on him and bring him back if he begins to stray. And with that attitude, he will never go to hell. He will never backslide. He'll never turn his back on God with that attitude. He may go through hell on earth as God gives him a whooping after another whooping to keep him from wandering, but a wise person will want that anyway because it draws you closer to God. It's not fun. I'm not saying it's fun. It's not. But whom the Lord loves, he chastens. Okay, study all the Bible with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen from four complete series going through all of the Bible. To be a part of this ministry, pray for me and God's Word. And also click the donate button at the top of the front page at thebibleversebyverse.com. And prayerfully give us the Lord may lead. Until next time, so long everyone.